Good afternoon, this is the latest video update on the Western Pacific which has been quiet in the past week or so. Much of the action has been confined in the Atlantic Ocean where they had at least two storms this week but it looks like Western Pacific is becoming alive again. We have a newly formed cyclone uh, across the Philippines here of Tropical Storm Sanba which is the uh, 16th named tropical cyclone uh, in the 2012 typhoon season. And here we are with our latest update on this Tuesday afternoon. Uh, the system is inside the Philippine Air Responsibility, so Pagasa has given the local name Karen uh, for this system. The international name is Sanba. Last located approximately 380 kilometers north-northwest of the Republic of Palau, roughly around 930 kilometers east of Visayas, so uh, very far away from the Philippines as of this moment, in the middle of the Philippine Sea. Maximum sustained winds are around 65 km per hour with gusts of up to 95 km per hour. Now the system is moving north-northwestward at 15 km per hour. Again, you can see in this latest visible image that classic C-shaped uh, uh, pattern of the system indicative of the again tight banding wrapping around the low-level circulation center which is located somewhere over here. And that is actually very much pronounced here in the microwave image again showing you the curved banding of the convection, uh, conve convective activity around again around its center. Um, much of the convection is located along the western periphery of the system. And you can see in this latest infrared image, very strong convective activity, very cold cloud tops as well. The central dense overcast starting to get better organized in the past uh, few hours. And again, very good outflow as well along the equatorward portion of the system. Much of the convection has uh, finally left Palau. They reported widespread rains earlier this morning and also winds of up to 55 km per hour from uh, the airport of Koror. Now, much of the, condi uh, much of the uh, rains has, uh, have left Palau and we expect conditions to improve um, tonight and eventually into tomorrow with the uh, system continuing to move away from that island. Now seeing also the infrared convection also uh, appearing on the uh, eastern parts of the Philippines particularly here in Visayas and also here in Mindanao bringing some scattered rain showers uh, there as well. Those uh, are basically wrapping around the cyclonic rotation of the system so bas basically moving in from the northwest to the, to the southeast again embedded along the uh, rotation of um, the system but with that said much of the convection is really far away from the Philippines not really expected to bring heavy rains uh, directly however it could enhance the southwest monsoon in the next few days particularly across Visayas and into Luzon as the system uh, moves to the north as for the track the latest forecast tracks from the computer models showing very good agreement actually this time around with much of the models forecasting sun but to continue moving north northwestward and under the influence of this big subtropical ridge to its northeast and uh, eventually taking the system actually very near Okinawa by uh, by this week and uh, early as Saturday evening actually and um, again also much of the uh, much of the models are as as is expected um, this time of the year with the uh, favorable conditions warm waters and also good outflow uh, expect the system to become a typhoon in the next two to uh, two to three days and could actually become a category three typhoon by uh, as forecast by uh, the GTWC you can see here forecasting a very near uh, very close approach to um, Okinawa by as early uh, as early as Sunday uh, morning and again you can see them tracking the system generally northwestward um, the forecast cone is actually avoiding much of the Philippines, not really touching Luzon as of this moment. But again, any any sudden shifts could definitely uh, affect the eventual track of the system. So, um, but uh, with that said, the uh, the good agreement of the computer models, we do think there is a very little chance of it. Uh, hitting the Philippines but again as I said earlier it could definitely enhance the southwest monsoon in the coming days as of right now the crosshair is definitely aimed towards either uh, Taiwan or here in the Ryukyu Islands of Japan and also JMA echoing JTWC's forecast here basically showing a northwestward track again under the influence of subtropical ridge 
to the northeast. Um, again, also forecasting to move just uh, west of um, Okinawa, very same time frame actually being shown by JMA forecasting a very close approach somewhere around Sunday morning uh, in that area. But again, even though uh, it will not directly affect the Philippines, you can see the system will be staying east of the Philippines for the next three to even four days, so plenty of time to enhance uh, the southwest monsoon. So, and also, as I showed you earlier, the convection from the system uh, enhancing some rain showers across eastern Mindanao and even into Visayas, and that could continue in the next two days. And also after that, the southwest monsoon could start uh, kicking up, especially with the uh, low pressure area actually developing west of Luzon. We'll continue to keep an eye out on that as well. The latest water vapor image here. Let's play the um, animation, and you can see here tropical storm Sanba east of the Philippines and also we are actually watching two more invests 90 and 99W well southeast of Japan and that could develop into a system to a cyclone as well in the next few days and we will continue to keep an eye out on that as well. Now the system is no, uh, south of a tropical upper tropospheric trough you can see in this latest water vapor image. Now um, it could uh, suppress, as you can see here, it could suppress some convection and even induce some shear and also some dry air into our system the next few days. But uh, JTWC is, uh, is expecting actually to this uh, tropical upper tropospheric trough or TOT cell to actually become more favorable in the next few days and expect the system to actually become a category three uh, by as early as Saturday. Now we can also, I'm also pointing out this blue shadings here which indicate a trough diving in from the north moving southeastward towards China. Now this trough will play a crucial role in the next few days as it will push, um, continue pushing eastward and uh, fork, uh, actually uh, make the subtropical ridge weaken and uh, could impact the uh, it influence the uh, system and the movement of tropical storm sand but taking it to the north basically absorbing it um, as it as both of this uh, as bo both of these features the trough and the uh, tropical storm as they meet up in this area uh, in the uh, in the next uh, three days, but again, so right now we are still watching sand, and you can see also some rain showers actually impacting uh, uh, much of uh, much of Luzon and even Visayas. You can see in this latest visible image, again the uh, massive cloud cover of sand, but remaining well offshore. Again, we are still watching some thunderstorms uh, affecting and flaring here across Luzon, and also again that low pressure area remaining here in the uh, South China Sea or the West Philippine Sea. Actually, if you take a look at the radars from Pagasa's project, now we can see some isolated thunderstorms impacting central and southern Luzon here. We actually had a train of thunderstorms impacting Metro Manila earlier this morning and dropped torrential amounts of rainfall in a matter of hours, uh, fortunately flooding many roads and even forcing ca school cancellations in some areas and even universities across the metro. Uh, we will still see some isolated thunderstorms you can see actually here flaring up across L uh, Laguna, Batangas and other provinces to the south and also actually to the north. Um, again, th these are hit or miss systems, uh, quick moving and thunderstorms especially across the uh, especially in the afternoon and early evening hours. Now move on to the Visayas region, you can see the massive rain showers affecting uh, the islands of Samar and Leyte again that is what I was uh, talking about earlier so rain showers are partially enhanced by the cyclonic rotation of um, Sanba and even also into Mindanao seeing that thunder uh, thunderstorms and rain showers moving in from the northwest to the southeast basically along the cyclonic or counterclockwise circulation of Sanba we expect those uh, showers to continue in the next uh, two two days, perhaps bringing up to 50 millimeters of rain tonight and possibly into tomorrow, so something to keep in mind as well. And finally we talk about the other invests southeast of Japan, we have 99W and 90W. Uh, these two systems are having a Fujiwara effect or direct cyclone interaction as of the moment. You can see 99W's 
fully exposed low level circulation center and also 90 W circulation somewhere over here now looking at this latest visible image it does seem the 90 W is much uh, better organized with good convective activity some good towers forming there as well whereas 99W fully exposed circulation very little convective activity if anything so um, as of right now we will continue to watch the system uh, rotate around each other and we expect 90W to eventually absorb the weakening 99W in the next two days and uh, we will continue to see if 90W becomes a uh, full-blown tropical cyclone in the next few days but as of right now again the systems are still well southeast of Japan you can see these are the Ogasawara Islands so well south of Honshu as of the moment but if it does form in the next few days we could see the system track north and eventually move very near Honshu by uh, early next week so something to keep in mind uh, there as well that ends our video update for the day. Continue to keep watching also Pegasus updates. As of the moment, they have not issued any signal warnings, also because of the system being very far away um, from the Philippines. But still watch out for the latest updates from them and also from Japan uh, Meteorological Agency for the latest forecast and warnings from uh, for Japan for, for Tropical Storm Sanba. Remember, we will have and actually we will have a live update with our meteorolo meteorologist Robert Spera uh, later tonight uh, here on YouTube so you can check out his uh, his channel at Rob Center one and uh, if you've been watching our videos you've been an avid fan of the Western Pacific weather you know he has uh, been holding a couple of live updates in the past week or so so please uh, check that out as well you can uh, you know, chat basically and post questions uh, we will try to answer um, for you Stay safe, guys. Bye.